So in this lesson, we're going to talk about position vectors. <coughs> so listen, a position vector of point A is the vector from the origin O. So if you have, say, this is the origin, okay, and this is A. Okay, now the position vector of this point A, okay, with respect to the origin O, is given by O A. All right. So O A is the position vector of A relative to O. Okay. This probably I should write it down. Okay. Is the position vector of A with reference to O. Alright? Okay, say you have another forgot to label the y and the x-axis here. Okay, say if you have the y and the x-axis here again and you know that B is the point here. Now this is the origin. Okay. Now we say that OB is the position vector of B B with reference to O the origin. Okay? The origin. Now O is the origin, okay? Alright, let's move on to the next page here. Haven't got enough space. So, if you have got a point, say, B, okay? And B has coordinates P, Q, okay? Now, the position vector of B with reference to the origin can be represented by OB equals to PQ. Alright, where this is the X component. Okay, there you go. And this is the Y component. She comes here. Y component. Okay, you can put it upwards like that vertically and uh, express it as a column vector. Okay, now now comes the next interesting part. Let's say we have a vector A, B. Okay, now A, B means A to B. You got two points A and B. Okay, and it also means that A, B is the position vector of B with reference to A. Okay, this is the reference point. Okay, and we say that AB can be expressed as OB minus OA. Now, this is something that you really have to take note of. Okay, it will really come in handy when you, you do your questions, uh, <laughs> your mathematical questions on vectors. So, do remember this formula. So, if you have PQ straight away you can represent this as OQ minus OP. Okay, if you have XZ, alright, you can represent it as OZ, apology, you can represent XZ as OZ minus OX. Alright, so do take note of this. Okay, now let me give you an example. Okay, you have got two coordinates, P, which is three comma eight, and Q, which is two comma five. Okay, and you want to find the vector PQ. Okay, remember. PQ can be represented as O 
OQ minus OP. Let me erase this. OQ minus OP. Alright. So you know that P OP really can be represented like that 3, 8 as a column vector. Okay, and OQ can be represented as a column vector 2, 5. Okay, that being said, we now know what OQ is. 2, 5 minus OP is 3, 8. Okay, OP is 3, 8. Alright, so 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 5 minus 8 is negative 3. Okay, so PQ as a col column vector can be represented as negative 1, negative 3, written vertically in brackets. Alright, so there you go. This is position vectors for you. Uh, I'll probably post a few more questions in the following videos to help you understand how to do questions of this genre